Hello, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3DSoftware.com and I'm here today to tell you about our new tutorial, Genoma Rigging Volume 3. In this tutorial, it is a project-based tutorial and uh, we show you how to rig a human character. Um, so one of the things I like people to know about Genoma is that it does take a lot of the work out of uh, compared to traditional rigging. Uh, trying to set up things like inverse kinematics, uh, IK, um, also setting up, uh, you know, control nulls, uh, so pull vector, pull vector setups, and and that type of thing, so that you can control elbow and knee action and all that stuff, and uh, other things like it can do thing. Uh, Genoma, the Genoma uh, tools can. Uh, have presets that actually set up things like uh, foot pivoting you can see you're up on the ball of foot and all that kind of stuff now there are some things that you have to know otherwise it won't work properly so there and there are a few gotchas involved in here as well we also talk about weight maps um, a lot of people don't realize that you can't just put these uh, Genoma presets inside a character and then click a button and then all of a sudden everything's ready to go. There are still are issues like, uh, you know, deformation errors and that type of thing, like the mesh, the, the, the character doesn't bend right, so on and so forth. So, I mean, there's things like obviously you have to know how to, you know, where, where to put the pivot points in for the joints so that things bend correctly. Um, and... Like I said, all the tr all the same kind of problems that you would have with a traditional rig is uh, does the mesh deform correctly, and that's where things like weight maps and that type of thing uh, become involved. So we go through that kind of stuff. We also show how to uh, if you scroll down here a bit. Um, you can see that we show how to set up the eyeballs as well, and uh, and we go through uh, you know doing some basic posing. Uh, making sure that the rig is is bending correctly, so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, you can see here we have the eyes uh, eye setup. How to go about uh, how about how how to go about setting up uh, um, eye rigs so that the Genoma rig works correctly, so that uh, there are control nulls that you can make the eyeballs rotate inside of the head with out uh, them actually permeating the skin and and coming through that those are sort of like traditional problems that happen when people are moving their eyeballs around that they don't stay underneath the uh, they don't stay inside the the skull and uh, and uh, a lot of times when people bend the the bones of the head if they don't have things set up right once again the eyeballs start permeating through the say like the the, the the eyelids and that kind of thing so we show the how to uh, set things up so things are so the things like eyeballs and stuff are following properly um, and once again some of the uh, the different uh, problems and gotchas that will happen along the way um, I, I've mentioned it before um, a lot of people think that the way genoma is set up that you know you just put the the rig inside the the mesh and load it up in a light wave. Click a button, everything's working correctly. Um, it, it, it's it's simpler than traditional rigging, but there's still, like I said, there are still some things that you need to know. So those of you who have been struggling a little bit with getting Genoma to work, uh, I really uh, I really advise uh, taking a look at these uh, these training videos. It'll help you get up and started a lot quicker than just trying to figure it out on your own. Okay. Um, currently, right now in the Genoma series, I am planning on doing more. There are um, there are four different volumes in the series right now. the uh, The first two volumes are on uh, basics and just getting started, getting oriented, how Genoma works. Um, and all the basics of Genoma. The last two volumes, uh, like here, are uh, project-based. So in this one here, we show how to rig a human character. In the uh, fourth uh, volume, we show how to rig a quadruped, a dog, uh, dog character. So uh, this series is a really great way 
for those of you to get started who are either having problems with uh, Genoma, problems understanding it, or you're just new to uh, rigging in general and you sort of want to bypass all the, uh, the the difficult traditional stuff. It It is kind of a great way to uh, get started. And uh, the series also shows how to uh, uh, create and save your own Genoma uh, presets as well, how to go about doing that. So anyways, uh, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3Dsoftware.com, and uh, we'll see you again next time.